back then I was still living uh, so before doing my MBA I was still living uh, back in my home country Indonesia and then I graduated from my bachelor degree in 2016 and started uh, started working before uh, before finishing the program the bachelor uh, the bachelor program and then uh, um, At the beginning, I was working as an intern for my bachelor's requirement and then continue working as a graphic designer uh, for the company uh, for the company for two years. After I worked as a graphic designer for two years in the magazine publishing company, I uh, decided to resign from the work, from the job, and then uh, I decided to start my own business. So I had, uh, yeah, I created my own uh, fashion line. Oh. And then um, I realized, uh, as I ran the business, I realized that there is a knowledge gap. I didn't have the sufficient knowledge to manage my business. I didn't know about the accounting and everything. And uh, um, and on top of uh, and on top of uh, and on top of that, I really like to learn and study. And I had the opportunity to continue my education. Uh, that's why I took the chance, and it was like uh, one of the best decisions that I made. <laughs> and I moved here and then continue my study at the U Business School. I always like passion and in Indonesia the entrepreneur entrepreneurial uh, it's very an entrepreneurial environment so it's very easy uh, to start your own business uh, and then I know a lot of my colleagues at the, at my previous work they have they also created their own fashion line something like that so yeah it it motivated me to also have my own uh, my own business <laughs> So basically, I was doing like a random research. I I look for uh, MBA program in Switzerland because uh, Switzerland is my uh, my destination. Uh, one of my family uh, lives here, and then I want to yeah I want to continue the study here. And then I did some research, and EU Business School they uh, they came on top <laughs> uh, on top of the list. So EU Business School is the only private universities in Geneva that offers um, that offers uh, the specialization that I'm interested in, which is the digital business and also entrepreneurship. And uh, they also have another universities in uh, in Barcelona, in Munich, and also in Montreux uh, here in Switzerland. And then. Uh, uh, At first, I I do I, I did some research uh, at the university. I saw their I saw their um, what is it? I saw their website, and then uh, um, I mean the information on their website is very clear. And for me, as an international student, it is very important to to see the credibility and also the. the And also the reputation of the university of the university before I joined. Actually, it was quite funny because I uh, when I got here, I didn't speak any French at all. <laughs> uh, and here, the uh, yeah, the first language is uh, French. Uh, yeah, it's French uh, because in uh, Geneva is the French part of Switzerland, and then uh, I only started um, I only started my MBA program I think six months six months after I arrived. So I kind of I kind of have the time to really uh, you know processing about about the environment about the about these new places uh, about this new place. So. Um, The culture shock, I think I already solved that before I got into the university, so it was fine. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect because um, business administration major is a, a completely new thing for me. I didn't have any, uh, any education background in business, so yeah, it was completely new. 
and uh, but I really, I mean, it was very challenging because we touched a lot of aspects in uh, in business. I mean, we learn about uh, finance, marketing, organizational behavior, business management, and everything, and also um, the and I think uh, the connection. with the professors i mean the interaction with professors and also a very uh, diverse and international environment uh, class environment is very 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 interesting and amazing okay so in eu business school actually is very unique when i first got in i started with the uh, specialization term at that time i took the digital business uh, digital business specialization and then yeah so i started with uh, four courses four or five courses which uh, really focused on digital business we learn about digital marketing uh, digital uh, digital design uh, organization i'm not uh, No, I'm not quite sure about the the name of the course, but and also we learn about uh, digital consumer behavior, and then after that, uh, we I still have uh, I had two two others. Um, what is it? Uh, two other terms, uh, which are more. Uh, I would say more general because we we learn about finance, uh, finance organizational behavior, and business management on that terms. So uh, yeah, I mean it's very like a complete uh, a complete course, a complete program because you you learn about the yeah about the whole thing in business, but you also have uh, one special term that you can learn about. about the about the field that you want to uh, that you are interested in the main reason why i continued my mba is to uh, to be able to manage my business because i know uh, when i uh, when i'm returning to indonesia uh, when i return to indonesia i will uh, i will start my own business And from the courses that I that I did in your business school in my entrepreneurship program, I learn about the business model. I learn about um, uh, about risk management, and then uh, uh, also about the finance thing. And for the digital business, because. Um, because I I learn graphic design and it's it, it is mostly like uh, it is mostly related to uh, related to uh, digital uh, digital field so uh, uh, yeah I mean I learn a lot because in digital business we're no we're now living in a digital age uh, and uh, in a business now I think it's very impossible to you know separate uh, separate your business. Uh, from the digital world, you have to be present in that world. So yeah, I mean, it gives me a lot of uh, a lot of insight. It changes uh, the way I work now, and also give me a new perspective because before, uh, because uh, now as uh, now I'm having the opportunities to do an internship here in Geneva, and then I. I can see uh, I can see the difference uh, in how I worked before and in how I used to work uh, compared to now. Now uh, I can you know I can see um, I can see how the organization work and then uh, how I mean how the organization uh, how the organization manage the people and everything. Uh, rather than only focusing on my responsibilities as a staff, so I think uh, it gives me a wider perspectives ha- on how to you on how to see the organization as a whole. Of course, to do some research before you join a school. I mean, before you uh, before you join the MBA program, and then. Uh, 
also doing some research on the career on the on the yeah on the career path that you want to that you want to have it's very important to to have a clear to have a clear uh, a clear reason motivation and also uh, and also goal because uh, to start something that will require uh, a lot a lot of your time money and also uh, effort yeah, it's it's very important to have that because uh, I believe that if if you have this foundation, then it will help you in your MBA journey. Uh, yes, it is for me because uh, it's my first international experience, and I know it's gonna it's it's very valuable if I go back to Indonesia and then if I want to. Uh, you know start a career working somewhere and i think it it broadens my mind and also give me a lot of perspectives <laughs>